Hello, my dear ones. It's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards, uh, Jill Norwood Designs. Uh, it is still Monday, Happy Veterans Day, and I am doing some, um, I'm coming on to do some shares of some things that have come into my craft room and also to answer a couple questions that people asked. And uh, so I've got my coffee here, uh, which I'm going to take a quick sip of. And I'm going to start by sharing a card that I got from my sweet friend, Jana. Um, Jana is of Jana Stamps here on YouTube, and uh, she is also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I like to order from her occasionally when I need, especially when I need cardstock. Um, but she sent me a beautiful thank you note. I placed an order uh, with her, and it says, Sending Heartfelt Thanks, and it's this cute little um, bunny, which is an Impression Obsession bunny drawn by Alessa Baker. She's the illustrator. You know, Impression Obsession is going out of business. There were some Alessa Baker stamps left the last time I looked, but again, I haven't been over to the website in about a week now. Um, but they are going to be closing, I believe, at the end of the year. I think Mitra's trying to close out before the, the new fiscal year starts uh, for her business. So um, there are still things on sale over there if you're interested. And uh, I just love this little bunny. Um and uh, have made many things with it over the years. But she's got it tucked into this, I believe, Stampin' Up! glove. She's got this cute little um, strip of uh, watering can paper. I love that. And uh, just a really cute card. She says, Hi, Jill. Thank you so much for ordering Stampin' Up! for me. I really appreciate it. I got my new Jill stamps. And uh, can't wait to play with them. Big hugs, Jana. If you're wondering what she means by that, you may know that I released a couple of stamp sets. Um, I have a new stamp line called Jill's Joyful Heart with Peachy Keen. So she's referring to these sets, and I am enjoying the heck out of seeing everybody use them. Jana, I can't wait to see what you make with them. I know it'll be beautiful. So that is uh, from Jana Williams, and she is a Stampin' Up! Dem demonstrator, and I always have uh, her channel mentioned because she also maintains the Saturday Morning Makes and Today's Makes 2 Facebook page. So Jana's wonderful, and uh, I you have her linked usually on my Saturday Morning Makes videos, but just type in uh, Jana Stamps in the YouTube search bar, and sh her channel will come up. And as a thank you, she sent me these really pretty iridescent gems, and they, they have a rainbow glow to them. Um, so Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels is the name of them. And uh, there's the little uh, code if you need that. But very, very pretty. They're just peel and stick. So you don't have to fuss with glue. They have the sticky stuff on the back of them. Really pretty. And then I'll set her beautiful card aside and I'm gonna show you the things that I ordered. I have had this stamp set on my wish list for a long, long time. I kept putting it in my cart and not ordering it. But when it stays with me for a really long time, I, I finally had to break down and get it. Um, I think it comes with, uh, it has coordinating dies. I did not get the dies. Um, it's a clear s set is what I ordered. And uh, it's just really, really sweet. And uh, my, as you know, my mother-in-love loves birds. And I always am looking for interesting bird stamps so that I can make cards and tags for her. So I'm going to make a birthday card for her next year with this and possibly her Christmas card. So I ordered that. And then the other thing that I ordered from her, I love their cherry cobbler cardstock. So I ordered a couple packs of the cherry cobbler cardstock. And I had had some questions from people about colors of cardstocks and what I use. And specifically, the person was asking about a basil cardstock that I got at Tuesday morning um, about uh, when Tuesday morning was still open, so pre-COVID. And um, uh, that paper, as far as I can tell from basil, I have not been able to find it anywhere. And it was pearlized burgundy on one side, and then the opposite side was almost this cherry cobbler color. And uh, I had made a card with it, and people were asking about it, and they were asking what red card stocks I use. So I thought I would take this opportunity just to kind of show you um, some of the card stocks um, in the red colors that I use. And this, for example, this Pure Poppy is from Paper Tray Ink, and this is a really nice true red color. And then also from Paper Tray Ink, I use Scarlet Jewel a lot. And this is the darker burgundy color that a lot of times people ask, you know, what color is that? It's Scarlet Jewel from Paper Tray Ink. And uh, so those are the two main colors from Paper Tray Ink in reds that I purchase. I also tend to use this color from them 
uh, in the fall and autumn color scheme, if you will, and it's called Autumn Rose. Okay, so these are from Paper Tray Ink, and uh, I just thought I would come on and show those to you. Um, and then this, as a comparison, is the Cherry Cobbler color from um, Stampin' Up. And so I just wanted to show you that. I ordered two packs of the Cherry Cobbler just to have it. But I also wanted to, so for you guys to see the comparison, this is Red Pepper from Tailored Expressions. And um, this, I bought this a while back, but I'm just going to take it out so you guys can see the comparison. This is um, Pure Poppy, uh, Cherry Cobbler, and then this is Red Pepper from Tailored Expressions. And the Pure Poppy and the Red Pepper are close, but the, ta the, um, the Red Pepper is a little bit darker. So I know people are looking for the red that they want. You know, you're looking for the color that you're interested in. Um, so these are the paper tray ink reds, you know, or tonal reds. And then that this is cherry cobbler and this is red pepper from Tailored Expressions. And uh, I think this one is that again from them. And then I also wanted to show you, this is from My Favorite Things. Now, I bought a lot of this a long time ago. This is their electric red. So this is electric red from My Favorite Things. And uh, a lot of the companies are going down to selling just, you know, sometimes five to 10 sheets, depending on the type of cardstock it is. And uh, so I still buy a lot of my cardstock from Paper Tray Inc. because they have the best value and from Stampin' Up! where you're still getting 24 sheets. But this is the Electric Red. Let's put it on the end here. So this is Electric Red from My Favorite Things is this one. And then this is Red Pepper from Tailored Expressions. And then this is the Cherry Cobbler. I love the Cherry Cobbler. I love that it has more of a burgundy overtone. But I also sometimes you want that those pure red tones. So any of these would work, I think. It just depends on your preference. If you like the warmer tone red or the cooler tone reds, um, you know, and what you're looking for. So this last one that I took out again is the um, electric red. So I'm going to throw that over there. Um, and those are all that I have to share with you uh, for reds and um, burgundy cardstocks. So you can see the four, um, Paper Tray Ink, My Favorite Things, Tailored Expressions, and then this is the Cherry Cobbler from Stampin' Up. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I hope that answers the question um, as far as what cardstocks I use in the Red family. And there are other things out there. Um, I tend to look, I'm trying to find budget-friendly stuff. And I do want to add that Michaels is carrying a nice ream of 65 pound uh, red cardstock. They only carry it during Christmas um, where you can get just that darker red color in a ream of 65 pound. So I do buy that one too. And I think I have it on my shelf here. I can show you one of the ones that they carry. Um, Oh, maybe I don't. It's out in the other room, so I can't show you right now. But anyway, Michael's also has some offerings, as do a lot of the big box craft stores. So you can look around. But um, I hope that answers the question from the person that asked it as far as red cardstocks go. And then um, I thought I would go ahead. Um, and again, the ones from Paper Tray Inc. are Scarlet Jewel, Autumn Rose, and then Pure Poppy. And again, you can get 50 sheets from them for $11, which is a really good buy for 100 pound, 110 pound cardstock. So um, this is uh, some of the hauls that I've been doing and I thought I would just share a few things that are coming into my craft room. Um, I ordered, I did place an order with Simon Says Stamp. They had a, a, I don't know if it was, did they have free, I don't know, they had some sort of thing going on and they did send me this code called Cozy. Um, which is good until November 20th for $5 off. But what I purchased from them, I purchased this. Um, I, uh, my friend, Cynthia Arangetta. Hello, Cynthia. I need to send her happy mail, I swear. Um, <clears throat> she always colors up Greeting Farm. She, she is a designer for the Greeting Farm, um, a creative designer. And she always is, her cards just always get me. And um, these are two... Uh, I saw her use these. Um, this one, I think I've seen her use more than once, but 
Uh, I just love the cards that she made. I love this little deer in here and the little snowman and uh, the image she's wearing antlers on her head and she has her little snow outfit on. And uh, this one's called Holiday Anya 12. And then this one was, um, I think this came out last year, Baking Anya. But um, I love anything baking themed and I love the little images in here. And I love that it says, I love you dough much, baked with love and life's batter with you. And uh, it has the bowls, the measuring cup, the, the little rolling pin, butter, sugar, flour, and a little cupcake. And she's stirring the bowl in her hand. And I love that she has little cupcake earrings. So you can make a birthday card. You could do Christmas cards. So many different things. And so I did order these. I was very excited to get those. Um, I also picked up this from Memory Box. Um, we often would go to an A-frame cabin up in the mountains in the winter time, And this just made me think of our outings as a family when we spend time in the mountains. And uh, I thought it would make some really cute Christmas tags and cards. And uh, so I thought I would take this out and show it to you if I can figure out how to get in here. Where does it open? There it is. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'll pull this out just so you guys can see it. And... Uh, memory box doesn't I love that they use paper envelopes with the picture on the front I love that I wish everybody would do it but um this is the die set so it's this little cabin and then you have the door um so you can make the door a different color and uh it has the chimney that you can put off to the side here so that's the chimney and uh it has the chimney cap and then some little greenery that you can create a wreath or do whatever you want with the greenery, really. So um, just a really nice little die set. They have um, within the envelope itself, they, they put um, a thin uh, magnetic just to help hold them in place so they don't fall out of the envelope. So that's really nice. And uh, it's style number 94820. So I splurged on this. And then another thing that I bought is Penny Black. You might recognize this pattern because I have a die that cuts out just a, a, a piece of this. And they have now made an embossing folder that embosses the whole pattern. And this is one of my favorite um, dies from them. And uh, this is, they made it into an embossing folder. So I ordered this. This is on the Simon Says Stamp website. Um, so that came into my craft room with that order. And then I did order during the My Creative Time release, I ordered two paper pads of this Hot Chocolate Seasons paper pad. This is just such a fantastic paper pad. And I am designing the current release, which I just received on Sunday or Saturday, I guess, Saturday evening um, at my house. I have been working with this paper pad uh, using the new release that's gonna come out um, before Thanksgiving with my creative time for the Black Friday sale and release. So we're working on that right now. All the design team is receiving their packages and everybody's getting to work. And uh, I wanted more of this paper because I used almost the entire pad during the last release. So I ordered two of those. And then the other thing that I placed in order was for some papers from Honeybee. Honeybee just did their big holiday release. And uh, I would order, you know, so many of their dies. They're just beautiful, but it's, it's my pocketbook can't um, stretch that far. Um, so what I did order, I splurged on their paper pads. I ordered um, both the Gingerbread Village and the North Pole paper pad. And I thought I would do a quick flip through of these because they are wonderful. So this is the North Pole one. And you get um, two sheets of each page, okay? So this one is a beautiful floral, and it's backed with this lovely, um, a really beautiful candy cane stripe paper. So gorgeous flowers. Then the next page is um, this beautiful greenery or like a mistletoe bow, okay? And you can see it has little stars around it. And then the back side of that is a pretty polka dot that almost looks like it has stripes kind of behind it. Um, it's interesting if you look at it really closely. So it's really neat. Um, so you get two of those. Then the next page, this was one of my favorites, has this beautiful neighborhood scene with snowflakes and snow and trees. Just gorgeous. And the back side of that page is this red tonal stripe. And uh, you get two of those. Then it moves on to this beautiful holly with pine cones and evergreen boughs. 
and the back side of that one is this gorgeous plaid, a Christmas plaid. Then you move on to these beautiful roses with greenery, evergreenery, and red berries, and uh, white berries too. So gorgeous. And the back side of that one is a green diagonal plaid. Love that. Oh my gosh. Then you move on to these cute little stamp images. Um, definitely stamps are on a huge uptick right now and using little stamps on your projects. So you're going to see more of that in the coming week here on my channel. I'm really excited about it. But this is a really cute stamp page. And then it, if you look, it has some over stamping with some little round circles with snowflakes in it that says Merry Christmas. So you get two of those. And the back side of it is these little pine boughs with snow going all through it and little snowflakes. Then they bring in this beautiful blue color with these gorgeous poinsettias and pine boughs and pine cones, just stunning. And the back of that one has little boughs on it in the same navy. So these papers just go so well together, mix and matching. And then you have um, another neighborhood scene and the back side is this beautiful pine tree. So just gorgeous. And I love the snowiness of this scene. So beautiful, beautiful papers. And then the next two pages are ice skates and the back of the ice skate page is um, some more evergreen type boughs and it's the same color story as the ice skate page. So, and you can see all the snowflakes in the ice skates too. Then you move on to a tile print with little uh, stars in it. And the back side of that one is just a really all nice all over Christmas tree print in a nice beige color. So really fun. Then you have these adorable his and her stockings, um, a gray a gingham stocking and then a white knitted stocking and there's snowflakes and red little dots in between. So just a beautiful, beautiful print. And the back side of that one is a nice gray snowflake print. And then you move into these beautiful gray trees with snowflakes and it's just such a neat pattern on the trees. I love that. And the back side of that one is just some stars on a white background. So beautiful, beautiful papers. Again, this one is called North Pole. So I ordered that one. And then I also had to order this one. This one is Gingerbread Village. And uh, this one is so much fun too. So I'm gonna just flip through them really quick. This one has um, Christmas trees and candy canes and little gifts. And then on the back side is this red all over kind of snow print, if you will. Then you get this With Love. And the With Love is interspersed with these beautiful candy canes and little star prints. And the back side of that one is a candy cane print again. Then you have this one with um, all the candy canes with bows on them. And then it has other candy canes and little peppermints and candies wrapped um, and little candy sticks. So just an adorable, adorable paper. Oh my goodness. And the back side of that one is this sweet polka dot. And uh, then you move on and it goes to the sweet gingerbread paper with star cookies and snowflake cookies interspersed among the gingerbreads. And the back side of that one are the star and snowflake cookies on a pink background. Then you have this one, which is candy canes and mistletoe with ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I love that. And the back side of that one is, is like a snow print on kind of a peachy background, which also goes with this paper that has the candy canes and holly. So just gorgeous papers. I love the colors that they did. The back side of this one says fa la 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 and has snowflakes on it in a kind of lighter print. And then you move into these prim houses with candlesticks. I love this paper. Oh my goodness. I just think that is the neatest paper. And I know exactly what die set I want to use with it. <clears throat> Anna White has a candle die that I just purchased from IO on their clearance. And I want to make a card using the candle die in these papers. So the star print goes with this paper beautifully. So that's the back side is this star print. Then it moves into another one with cookies. And these have more of a Scandinavian look to them. There's a heart, a star, and a candy cane. And uh, the back side of that one is just this beautiful ginger color paper, perfect for making gingerbreads. Then you have this one, which is papers with ho, 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 or I'm sorry, gifts with ho, 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 and it has little cookies or crescent buns or something and, uh, and ho, ho, ho's. So really cute paper. The back side of that one is this nice star print and it looks very rustic and prim. I love these colors as far as that goes. And then another cookie one with little banners and candy cane cookies, uh, star cookies and snowflake cookies. And there's little star banners and regular triangle banners. So really cute. The back of that is just a really sweet, simple plaid. 
And then you move into this beautiful red and green star paper with green candy stripes on the back. And the very last paper is this one with these cute candy canes and these adorable little lollipops with bows on them interspersed with some snowflakes. And the back of that is a plaid. So that is this paper pad and it is called Gingerbread Village. These are their two holiday releases for um, honeybee stamps. These are their holiday paper pads. The release is incredible. Um, I wish they had um, some products that were dyes that were just kind of standalone, single dye, a little bit less expensive price point. But um, if you want to do an investment in one of their dye sets, you can't go wrong. They're really thoroughly, beautifully done. And uh, I love the reindeer dye. I wanted to purchase it so bad, but it was already sold out. Um, so uh, at least on the place where I was looking, it was already sold out. So anyway, um, they also always include a little freebie. This one says sending holiday cheer, and it's just beautiful Christmas flowers that you could um, color up and put on to a little thank you note or a card for somebody. So those are new in my craft room also. And then um, I wanted to mention that I did plant uh, the rest of my bulbs. I think I had told you guys, I showed you a few that I'd already planted, but I had purchased um, some others from a different place that I went to um, when my sisters and I went out to have coffee. And I spent Saturday putting more bulbs in the ground. So I cannot wait till spring because this is the first time I've planted new bulbs, um, so many varieties um, since I bought the house 25 years ago. So I'm excited to have those all in the ground. And uh, I also did a big bag of daffodils and I kept these because it's fun to go out in the spring and see them come up and then match up what you planted with the pictures to see how they turn out. So I just thought I would show you that. And then I have one last thing I want to share um, is that I did place an order for some of my sweet friend, Anna White. Hi, Anna some of her new products uh, with Whipper Stamper Designs, as well as some of her existing products. Um, I purchased these just bare rubber, and uh, this is one of her, um, one of her little uh, tart tin ornaments or stamps, and this one has the little scarecrow and sunflowers in it. And I like to make ornaments like this. My friend Jana just made a really cute project. I think I shared the video for Saturday Morning Makes where she made some uh, tart tin tags and uh, really clever. Um, and I think they could also be ornaments, um, but she did it for her craft fair. So be sure and visit Jana's channel. And uh, I ordered this one also. This one is a mason jar with trees and a little house in it. So I can't wait to make tags with that one. And then Whipper Snapper Designs, um, I'm a reoccurring customer and they sent me a free gift. Um, and I, I got this sweet little penguin and the penguin is has a, a, a bulb, a, a gift, and a little tree and some snowflakes in her tummy. She's kind of sitting with those on top of her feet where she would normally be guarding an egg if it's a boy penguin. But anyway, those are, those are some bare red rubber ones. And then I ordered um, also one other thing. Uh, I ordered her Christmas um, background stamp finally. And, uh, and then this was from her new release, her new clear release. And this is her beautiful... Um, Re, uh, register stamp. Um, I'm not saying that right. But anyway, uh, I love, I have a whole paper pad that is just this type of paper. And uh, I love how Anna did this background stamp because she added numbers on both sides and uh, she also added some distressing. So I loved how this looked on the cards that she produced and I can't wait to use it. So I had to order that. So Anna, thank you for making that beautiful stamp. And then I also ordered um, her new clear releases. So I ordered um, this one, which is uh, Winter Coffee, and it has her cute ginger, it has a Santa, and the snowman with a little heart. It says, wishing you a season filled with caffeine, and there's a little snowflake one here. Um, this will be really cute to use in the background and um, on the back of your card, inside, everywhere. And uh, I just love this one. I love my coffee. Um, and then this one, I remember, I think... I have this in woodblock, but this is a stamp um, that uh, Anna, I believe, drew this years ago, if I'm remembering correctly, Anna. And uh, so now it's in clear and she's added this cute little bug and the little, um, you know, air waves that you can put like the bugs flying through the air. It says, heard you caught a bug and get well soon. And uh, this is just such a cute image to send when someone isn't doing well. And I definitely have some people in my life that could use a fun little card to make them smile. So I'll be using that. And then this is probably my very favorite 
I love Santa images. I just think they're so fun to send out to people at Christmas time. And uh, this is a beautiful prim style one that Anna drew. I love this Anna. This is probably my very favorite. And it has the 25 in there without the cancellation, which I like and a, a prim star, and a little um, frond, the word Merry Christmas. And then this little background, it, it says he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were tar all tarnished with ashes and soot. So it's that section of the poem that talks about what Santa is wearing and what he looks like. So just adorable, so fun to use this. I cannot wait. So those are from my sweet friend, Anna White. And I just want to thank you, Anna, also for using my stamps recently. Um, Anna pulled out and used uh, my two stamp sets and made some beautiful videos, as did my friend Nancy. And so many of you um, have told me you, you've ordered them and you're going to use them or you've already used them. Tons of people, Patty, Sue, so many people over on Instagram, Lisa, lots of people, um, Marissa, uh, a lot of people have been posting um, things. So uh, using my stamps. So I'm just so touched, you guys. You have no idea. Uh, you just all make my heart smile so big. So um, I'm going to hop off because this video is getting long. And uh, I do have another video I want to do, but I might wait um, to do that one on a different day. Uh, I do need to get to work now. Um, it's, it's already close to noon and I've been filming videos all morning. So now I got to go actually do my work work um, and get ready for the My Creative Time release that's coming up right before Thanksgiving. So uh, uh, Emma's going to do her big Black Friday sale along with a release. And oh my goodness, uh, this release, I am so excited. I, I stayed up until midnight creating last night just because I got to play with the new releases and I'm so excited. So I've got to get some projects made for you guys and uh, I'll share one last thing really, really quick. This I purchased my 2024 ornament. I always purchase one ornament every year and if you've been with me last year, then you know that this was my 2023 ornament. Well, this is my 2024 ornament and those of you that know, I have my mom and my aunt are twin sisters. And so when I saw this one in red, I thought, oh my gosh, I have to get it to match because then I'll have both my mom and my aunt represented on my Christmas tree. So I think I might um, stitch their names on, on the little skirts. And I almost wish I could go back and get another set and give them each a set because I just think they're so cute. Um, but I didn't see any green ones in the store, only more red, and I'm sure they're going to be sold out by the time I go back and try and figure it out. Um, but anyway, they're just the sweetest thing, and uh, I just thought I would share it with you. So everybody, enjoy prepping for the holidays, and thank you for tuning into this video and looking at the new craft goodies in my craft room. Bye now.